The technician's oath is to do no harm. So how do you probe a wheel speed sensor and the wiring harness without doing any harm to the harness or the wiring? We're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit the bcahub.com for more information. You may be able to use a scan tool to read the values from a wheel speed sensor, but if it's defective or there's issues with the wiring, you're going to have to probe that circuit to see what's wrong with it. If it was a perfect world, we'd all have breakout harnesses that would go between the hydraulic modular unit and the wheel speed sensor harness. This is only used at dealerships and is a very expensive tool. When you're working at a shop, you've got a couple options. Let's first go over the ones you should not use. Number one, do not use piercing or needle probes on the wiring harness that is inside the wheel well of the harness. When you do this, you're actually creating a hole in the insulation that water can get in and eventually cause corrosion, which causes resistance, which causes the signal from the wheel speed sensor to drop out. You may think piercing probes might be an option. Well, you should never pierce the wiring harness and the insulation on the section that's in the wheel well itself because water can get into the harness. The part of the wiring harness that is on the vehicle, typically behind the wheel liner, you don't want to pierce that either because water can get inside and cause corrosion. So don't use a piercing probe. So what's the best way to do this? Well, it's with a set of breakout leads or bypass leads. This way, you're putting these leads in between the connector on the vehicle and the connector on the hub unit itself. You're not disturbing the bias voltage signals coming from the vehicle to the hub unit to confirm operation. And you can view the operation of an active wheel speed sensor with the correct voltages going to it so you can see the teeth and the reluctor going by the sensor itself. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much. <laughs>